Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Sarpath School of Navigation with notes on loading charts into OpenCPN. And the first step, as always, is to go to their website and read the help file for whatever you're going to be working with. They have very detailed and useful help files discussions at the website. And so here we're opencpn.org, go to manuals, uh, go to a user manual, probably the most direct, and then in our case we go to charts, and then we're going to be using the chart downloader the chart downloader. So if you read through this, that will tell you about the charts and we'll come back to that in, um, in the next uh, video on, on the actual charts. Uh, right now we'll just look at the base maps. Um, so here is the way the program looks when you first start out and it, the, the base map is a very crude one. This is, I'm rolling the mouse by the way, that's how that's changing. I'm in a Mac, works the same way in a PC. So look, Hawaii is pretty crude here in this uh, base map. This is in fact called the crude base map. And then, so let's get started on changing that. You go to options and then first go to plugins let's just do it this way we'll go to plugins and then go to the chart downloader that plugin is installed with all the uh, with all of the uh, installations unless you're using xp i don't think it comes in on xp but on others it does then hit preferences and this will show you where they're proposing you put the charts you can put them anywhere you want but uh, this is uh, as good as any. Um, I would then go to your backup program and tell them not to back this up because these are going to be big files after a while and you want to update them frequently anyway and there's, they're easy to get. There's no need to back them up. So that's the default location. That's okay. We're done with that. We go back to charts. Go to the chart downloader. Then we hit add, and then here are the base maps. So you have to click that, then you click that, and now you have to say OK. And see where that's going to put them? It's going to go into that default charts, like that, and it's going to make a subdirectory. This is the name of these uh, open source uh, high resolution bitmaps, or base map, uh, vector base maps. And so that's going to be a fine place for that and just say OK. So then, once you do that, you might pull this apart here a little bit, and notice it's reminding you, you have to update. So, so you push update. Now, that went, that quick time, it went online to the source of these uh, bitmap, these base, these uh, base maps. And um, I would recommend uh, just this one. Let's use that one. Uh, this one is even more detailed, and you can play with that later, but it, you may see some effect on performance depending on your machine. But um, this one is fine. Then you say download the base maps, and then uh, that takes a few seconds. I was going to pause, but I don't think I can pause. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, let's say apply, and then say okay. Now look, we got a better we got a better vision of this. So uh, let me let that go at that, and then I'll go back and uh, do more charts in the next video. My job now is to try to keep these short.